Hello there, my beautiful Virgo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Rhea, and I do these readings every week. Now, Virgo, this is your love and relationship reading. What I'm going to do is open your reading today with an affirmation card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you followed by a bonus card from the divina serenity oracle deck and then an angel number for you as well so those of you that are watching today if you've been seeing signs through repeating numbers or angel numbers this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right virgo let's open up your reading here feel free to write uh, this affirmation down for yourself okay so we're getting door to spirit it is open for you right now virgo so look at this beautiful blessings are coming your way here and i really feel that there's also messages coming in through your dreams through intuition there's a connection there's some uh, energy that is being channeled through you at this time so the affirmation here is I relax and connect with spirit's wisdom and power. I live in the peace that my spirit brings and know that the world of spirit supports me. So know that and own that power. Now, what I also want you to do here, Virgo, is to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on the screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will it strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So door to spirit is open here, everyone. Now I'm going to pull one extra additional card here from this beautiful deck, the Intuit intuit uh, twin flame oracle deck so let's see what one message you get here today for love so we're getting a telepathic message for you i feel you pulling away and it triggers my fears that you'll leave me for good all right so this is the message coming in so perhaps there is some sort of feeling of this in your life right now virgo perhaps someone around you is feeling this way we have the number five on this card the number five in numerology brings about change it talks about change you being flexible and adaptable to it change usually throws us out of our comfort zone so there might be conflicting energies turbulence and chaos that some of you are experiencing in some of your relationships here so through connection uh, really bringing yourself to a place of quiet and peace um, you know the thoughts that run wild in our in our minds when we're going through an experience like this um, whether it's a breakup or some turbulent energy in a relationship our mind can be overwhelmed with thoughts so they're wanting you to really connect and receive information that is being brought to you okay so virgo page of pentacles there's an opportunity coming here for you to really grow within a relationship and I feel this is going to do with uh, perhaps your finances, right? Maybe there's an uptick in your finances or perhaps there's something coming in that is going to really open you up to this new way of look, looking at your situation. So I do feel that some of you might be going through a change in a relationship. Um, this could be in your marriage somewhere as well, Virgo. Know that there's about to be something good happening. Um, something good that's entering your life through this uh, difficult time here especially those of you that are feeling you're, like you're going through difficult times for a sword so there needs to be some rest and slowing down also communication here is going to be very important i feel some of you are waiting for some sort of communication perhaps you're waiting for your partner to come in and communicate or your partner is waiting for you to come in and communicate so remember that these energies can work both ways you can feel them or your partner okay so rest is required to slow down and to really um tune in to your partner tune in to the person that you are trying to connect with here in your life 
All right, so Four of Swords energy, we also have the Three of Cups. So there's this beautiful expansion happening here. And I really feel that some of you have really good relationships and support. Some of you are feeling supportive. Maybe you are in a relationship that is supported and you're going through some sort of turbulent patch here because of something that has come in. This could be financial, right, related. Um, this could be work related. But know that there is this beautiful bond and union. And sometimes we need a third party to maybe intervene or we need to reach out like to a therapist, a counselor to kind of talk things through. Okay, so I feel there's um, power coming in numbers for you, uh, Virgo. So three of cups energy here. Now, um, we all live a different life experience. So these cards are going to present themselves differently for each and every one of us. This is also a general reading and may not resonate for everyone today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So um, I just feel that some of you might be going, because I, I with the number five here, Virgo, I do feel there is something uh, coming in that is changing things a little bit, right? And this could be like either a hiccup, this could be something very minor, or this could be something really big. So we want to look at what's going on here and not kind of brush anything under the rug here. So um, I feel slowing things down for you is going to be very important. So spirit guides really want me to touch on the four of swords first. I feel some of you are exhausted, like whatever it is that you're going through, I feel there's definitely some exhaustion here. Um, this is showing up in some of your physical uh, health here as well. So it's going to be very important that you focus on self care, take care of yourself first here, Virgo, before you go off putting your energy out there, trying to fix something or someone. Okay, so, and I feel some of you are dealing with somebody that really does have a lot of things going on in their life. I feel that um, there's something going on in someone's life that's in your life right now, Virgo, that you're dealing with here. So, and you're putting a lot of your energy there. So spirit guides really want you to focus on yourself as well. So if you're feeling like you're depleted of energy, it's now time to recharge yourself before you go in and try to intervene or try to work things out. Um, because what happens is when you're overwhelmed with energy or depleted of energy, um, you can make not good decisions and then regret them later. So, um, and being very mindful of how you're speaking and communicating here. I'm not saying not to talk, but clear uh, communication here is going to be required and sometimes we need to sit down and actually have a conversation around our relationships checking in with our partners our friends especially if things aren't feeling like they're going the way that um, they used to go right um, or maybe there's something coming in that you need to address but this is uh, best done with you both kind of sitting laying the cards on the table and actually having some communication and really talking from your heart here and expressing yourself self the way that you need to rather than hiding things uh, perhaps in the fear of being judged or um, coming off the wrong way or you feeling like the person's going to leave you uh, I'm getting this coming in and I also feel some of you are you know those of you that are single and you're looking for love here um, or this is like work related work related things you need to slow down a little bit here I feel there's a lot of quick paced movement happening and you're getting the signs here the signs are coming in synchronicity so those of you that are saying two two twos um, I feel balance and uh, this place of calm and peace needs to be brought into your life in order for you to really tune into what spirit has to say because the doors are open for communication and that guidance is coming in for you right now uh, Virgo so tapping into this energy so you know what it is that you need to do with a clear mind here so you're going to receive some of that um, guidance on how to kind of navigate a certain situation maybe you're dealing with something with somebody here where there's a lot of fear maybe you're just overwhelmed or just feeling like you're exhausted from just the thoughts the feelings the emotions right and it's so exhausting having to go through that not knowing the answers like just not knowing I feel like there's this big overwhelming feeling of not knowing release that energy and keep moving slowly but keep moving forward here uh virgo 
that message is definitely coming in strongly and release your attachment to who, whoever this is i feel there's almost like this real worry of i hope this person doesn't leave me or if there is no communication within you because there's been some distance here there's a lot of worry and anxiety of um, this person leaving you so you have to release this outcome here uh, virgo i feel sometimes our uh, people are meant to enter our lives for a temporary period because we're meant to learn something from them but I also feel that you are evolving that person is also evolving and if there's no compatibility if no there's no way to kind of settle something or come to a place where you can both be at peace with one another then maybe you're meant to part ways and this is going to be actually good for both of you okay so this is coming up as well now there's something coming into your life some sort of an offering and I do feel that Perhaps someone is going to bring something to the table or open up to you uh, through conversation here and share with you what it is that they're feeling. And there's a lot that you're going to learn through this. Virgo, I feel some of you might be sharing your own feelings with somebody where the other person on the receiving end is going to learn a lot about you. And there's going to be clarity there and you're going to be able to either expand on um, how you can make this work and reunite and create a life or there's almost like this energy of, okay, now maybe we need to think about how we can either um, come together. At, you know, there's almost like this parting energy, but friendship there is still. So um, it's interesting how this is working because conversations can lead to many different things here. So I'm seeing lots of different outcomes of this conversation, but I feel there's a, conver a conversation that needs to be had here. So I do feel the offering to have this conversation is coming into your life here with this opportunity. So you're going to get the opportunity to actually clear the air here, Virgo. And I also feel that some of you have received an opportunity or your partner, someone here has received uh, some sort of financial opportunity, a business opportunity, a new job that is changing things or has changed things already. And you're going through this journey of learning and um, it's an adjustment period for those of you that are in a relationship because of something that has come in so perhaps you have um, uh, adopted a puppy or had a child or have a family member that has entered your life as well like a sick parent an elderly parent that you're taking care of that is kind of changing things in your relationship that can sometimes make things rocky a little bit not in a negative way sometimes these are rocky changes in a good way where you're having to reorganize and restructure things in your life so i do feel there is a restructuring of your life because of a relationship here so um and there's an opportunity for some of you to travel here coming through as well so whether you go with your partner or not i see there's a lot of expansion and an entering of of a person here so some of you are aligned to a soulmate a life partner a love of your life uh, virgo and i feel that um, this opportunity is there it's waiting some of you, for some of you it, it already has entered and um there's also rekindling so there's someone from your past coming up here as well that you might not be um, expecting here Virgo and I feel there's almost like this energy of it's almost like a check-in after many many years of not communicating and all of a sudden there's either a path crossing or this person connects with you um, through uh, either social media or calling you um, I'm getting some of you running past like running into each other on the street or at some sort of um, business so um, there's like this reconnection of energy or this could be a new energy where you bump into someone that feels familiar okay so um, there's definitely a connection entering your life here this is an opportunity for you to really see where this takes you and I do feel some of you are going to take this uh, offer love offer and actually um continue like not continue but start a new journey with this person and this is going to be a completely different experience for some of you so get ready for this beautiful energy to enter your life and whoever this is um, I feel this person is very grounded okay this person is very well rounded uh, compatible to you and I feel they have a really good social circle they are they are a networker they have a really good um, a group of friendships here this could be a business person this could be someone that has their own business or is in a leadership role here so this is what I'm picking up here with this um, and they don't have to necessarily be a leader but I'm just feeling this really confident 
strong personality entering your life here okay so um and um what is this that i'm feeling now with this uh, three of cups card here so um, I, I feel there's like this uh, really interesting um, energy here for some of you that might have a crush on your boss or someone in your workspace here because I'm getting a group setting here and there's almost like this feeling of does this person feel the same way about me? I'm kind of crushing on them. I just always find that any kind of work related, any kind of romance in the work scenario, um, you know, you're taking a risk here with this and I just feel that... Um, you know, whether it turns into something or not, because some of you have success stories, right, that have actually found love in the workplace. But I just always find that the scenario is just really tricky. So um, just be mindful and aware of some of the consequences that come with that and just understanding the whole situation before you dive into this, because I'm, I'm getting something through a group and I'm also getting a third party here popping up and uh, um you know, I'm getting like a counselor or therapist that is going to help kind of rejuvenate the relationship. But I'm also getting someone else kind of in the middle of something. Um, this could be like a, an elderly parent, a child that is coming in. This could be someone else that's in the picture, right? Um, you know, a third party, like, you know, something that's not good here. So um, and some of you may have experienced this already, all of these things. But I feel there's almost like this um, uh I'm not getting anything negative here. That's the thing. So I don't know what these, um, maybe some of you are having a hard time and maybe it isn't a negative experience, but because some of you are feeling exhausted, it's feeling negative. So there's almost like this confusing energy coming in with this card and it shouldn't be a confusing energy, but I'm getting a confusing energy for you here, Virgo. So there's a lot of, um, I feel you speaking up and actually communicating how you're feeling and kind of uh, checking in with your partner, with your family members here, because something is coming in that might be troubling you here, Virgo, or troubling uh, your spouse or the person that you're kind of in a relationship with here. And some of you are in a situationship. Um, so maybe you're in a relationship with somebody who might not be uh, wanting to commit to you right now because they're wanting to see what else is out there. There's like this green, the grass is greener on the other side mentality. So whether this is you or someone else, I just feel that um, you want to give someone a real chance here. And perhaps you're feeling this energy where people aren't giving you a real chance here, Virgo. But I do feel that there is this entry of someone coming in and it's now time to really be yourself in the relationship because this is going to be your superpower. You really uh, walking in that true essence. This is where you're going to see that growth. I also feel some of you are going to connect with people through a group. Uh, I'm getting a group setting here. So this could be you joining some sort of a class or going to some sort of retreat. Uh, maybe this is going to be through friends. Someone introduces you to someone. So I feel there's love coming in in many, many different ways here for some of you that are single that are looking for love. And I also feel there's this you reuniting energy through you being resourceful and actually looking for support in order to help uh, mend your relationship here, uh, Virgo. But overall, I'm just seeing this beautiful energy around. You're surrounded by loving people here. And this is what you need to kind of find for yourself as well, Virgo, are people that are going to stand by you, that are there for you, especially in times of need. Um, and you're going to know who these are. And I feel some of you have these kind of friendships and those are the ones that you want to hold on to. Those are the relationships. And you want to pay, make sure that you're putting your love, care and attention to those relationships, especially if you're wanting them to last. And I feel there's almost like this energy where you're just... Um, there's somebody around you that needs your energy as well, Virgo. So I'm picking up on that. Somebody around you that's not getting enough love from you. So I'm um, just being aware of that and just checking in, checking in with the people in your life that you care about and really letting them know that you love them. You want to really, um, your heart center is meant to actually express itself in a very big way here. So the doors are opening also for you here, Virgo, to not be so closed off, to allow your love to shine in, in, in all the connections that you're trying to build in your life, especially the ones that are valuable to you. 
I feel this is going to be very important and I'm just seeing a lot of growth, a lot of success in your life. And no matter what it is that you're going through here, especially with the, it being tied to this card, release that energy. Let things just flow the way they were meant to. Um, spirit guides want you to release control of this, okay? So those of you that are experiencing this energy and you're trying to make things work, just release this and just release because I feel it's putting a huge heavy load on your heart here so release it and let it go and allow things to unfold naturally and if they're meant to be they are going to be nothing can stop that okay so I'm going to pull a bonus card for you as well this is the Divina Serenity Oracle deck so one bonus card from this I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook today okay so Virgo, what is it that uh, spirit guides would like you to know in regards to love and relationships with this card? Friendship. Look at this. Friendship is coming up. So I feel embracing friendships, really being open to people connecting with you on a deeper level where sometimes you have to be vulnerable to do this, right? So this is coming through. Forgiveness is always coming in as well. So forgiveness has been coming in uh, for a lot of the signs here today. So friendship. The Friendship Oracle card symbolizes the importance of genuine connections, trust, and support in your life, Virgo. Embrace the power of friendship in your life. Cultivate meaningful connections with others. Surround yourself with people who uplift and support you and be a source of love and encouragement for those you consider friends. The children in the forest signify a connection to, the, to nature and a reminder to find solace and joy and in simple pleasures of your life. The children holding each other represent the beauty of deep bonds and the sense of belonging that true friendships bring. Seek opportunities to strengthen your friendships, engage in open and heartfelt conversations, create shared memories through meaningful experiences and show appreciation for the unique qualities and contributions of your friends. Accept the powerful message of friendship and recognize the transformative power of authentic connections. By nurturing and cherishing your friendships, you can experience a sense of belonging, support, and joy, knowing that you are surrounded by people who truly care about you. Virgo, so embrace a friendship here, my friends. I love this card for you today. All right, let's pull an angel number. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers around you, repeating numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are receiving angels are near. Look at that, Virgo, angels are near you. If you've seen the numbers 80, 80, or eights and zeros, this is your confirmation that angels are near and the doors are open. So of course they're going to be near, near you. This is you also being open and receptive. So you're getting reassurance that you are safe and you are protected here. There's a lot of support. You have some guardian angels here, Virgo. So be open and receptive. Call on your angels and your spirit guides to bring some guidance into your life as well. There's an uplifting message coming in for you, which is showing up here through the page of Pentacles, right? Protection, okay? So um, protection is always around you, but also to protect yourselves by having some healthy boundaries up around your friendships and relationships here. So know that you're always safe and protective. Angels are always with you. Virgo. This is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.